All right, all you risk takers and risk breakers out there, welcome back to Wonder the Radar. And now it's time for us to see which one of you crazy stunners out there is going to end this month most likely in the emergency room as we leap into another crazy edition of the wild world of stunts. And the first stunt that we have up comes from the Twitter page of Happy Happy Nemo with their game, Nemo. Or is it Happy Happy Nemo? Either way, folks, the screenshot or more or less stunt that we were provided with with this week involves the happy dog of Nemo taking on what apparently looks like a cartoon version or a uh, Mr. Rogers version of the Street Sharks kicking them in the face as hard as he possibly can and then giving him a bit of a receipt by kicking him back so hard that he would fall down to the ground and won't get up no more. And then the street sharks turned on each other, started kicking each other, and to make things even worse, one of them had a shovel and hit Nemo in the face mid-flight. So basically they were playing human baseball, or puppy baseball, which doesn't sound right no matter which way I try to spin it. And if you're wondering at home the condition of not only the street sharks, but Nemo himself, every single one of them has a grade 2 concussion, especially poor little Nemo, who got hit in the face with a shovel. Jeez. I mean, I know they were trying to do a little bit of fun here, but a shovel and a kicking fist fight? Not good, man. Not good. <laughs> And apparently, according to the maestro, the name of that shark that hit him with the shovel was Mark. So, Mark the shark popped him in the face with a shovel. Yeah, that's a news headline, folks. <laughs> and the next screenshot, or makeshift stunt out of a screenshot, comes from the Twitter page of the Brainwash Gang. With their said game known as Age Through Blood. And in this screenshot, the man who calls himself Max, riding through this abandoned wasteland, not only doing moon salts over broken down tanks, but also pulling off wheelies and even front flips before disappearing into the abyss, probably landing in some desert bedlam oasis that could not be seen off screen on both tires like, what maestro? Like a glove! For him to just disappear into the abyss. Or abyss. I always thought it was obis, but I was wrong on that. <laughs> Either way, the PR department and the maestro along with the doctors are giving this a perfect 10. And I'm gonna join along with him. Even though I don't know where he went after he landed. Still a 10. Still a 10. And the next stunt that we have up comes from the Twitter page of Skatebird with their game, Skatebird. And the screenshot for this week did not involve the birds from last week, including Steve or Mike. But this time it actually involves another cool skater that goes by the name Carl that was more inclined in his fashion taste than skateboarding. Because before he was on his Twitter page, and yes, I find it funny that a bird can know how to use Twitter, would post up this post by saying, Did you all see me fancy scarf this wee and then boof? So we played the footage and wondered why in the world he said this, and it turns out while he was still looking at the camera with a selfie stick, he would end up getting hit on the side of what appears to be a miniature eraser falling down, breaking his beak, and just flapping his wings in pain for his boys to come on over to help him out. Did they help him? No, cause they told him that that sweater and that hat did not work while skating and told him to just lie there and learn a lesson. <laughs> 
Either way, folks, according to our animal doctor over here in the corner, the bird did crack his beak, but it did not break it, and will have to spend several days in the animal hospital to recover from this accident. Which proves that some things are more important than tweets on Twitter, especially from a bird, like actual equipment to protect yourself from sad, horrible things like this. More inclined to wear a scarf than a helmet. What's wrong with that bird? And the next stunt that we have up comes from the stunner Owl underscore man, or just Owl man. Nice name, by the way, with his stunt, Woot. Or is it what? Either way, folks, this stunt gets weird in a hurry because Michael, who tries to get his car ran over by a train only to realize that the car would get sandwiched in between the railroad crossing sign and the passing train, would get frustrated by the fact that it didn't explode and would take his boot, step on the car, only for the car to launch directly into the air, explode, hit the side of a police station, and for the truck driver that was right by the truck to somehow catch fire and for the truck driver to go out of the truck screaming and give me a sec here folks because this is going to be loud oh it burns it burns it burns <laughs> either way he was in trouble and cooking alive right there on the side of the street <laughs> And the doctors are looking at me with a frown on their face, wondering why in the world are we laughing? And it was simply because he got out of the truck screaming, I had birds. And they just shook their head in approval and at the same time told me that he suffered from second degree burns all over his body and they had to actually get a skin graft for his head because the hat fused to his head and yeah, it melted on his head. Just to simply put it, the hat melted on his head and they needed to get it off. So, yeah, they told me it's not funny. But it's still funny to me. We take, you know, pleasure from a little bit of these painful moments. Not all of them, though. They're serious. And speaking of how serious it can get, folks, the last but not least stunt that we have up for this week comes from the stunner, Hezier, or Hezer. There's so many Z's, Zoro can't even figure this one out, with his said stunt. <laughs> you Paul Project. And in the said crazy stunt that was featured with not only the driver that went by the name of Kevin, but also the guy on the outside of the car who went by the name of Jake, who decided while going off the top of Mount Chiliad of all places in this old fashioned St. Valentine's Day like gangster massacre car for him to hang on the outside of the car as they went off the side of Dead Man's Cliff. And if you thought that things would go bad with him being on the outside of the car, you were right. Because just before takeoff, I guess the driver got stuck midway, causing Jake to fly off the side of the mountain, doing head over heel, tuck and roll like flips like if he was a part of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading squad only for things to get really dangerous once he started to get a little bit of altitude with a little bit of his rolls, causing him to bang the back of his head up against a rock, still fly down the mountain, and then land shoulder first into another one. And just to let a couple of you out there know, with that first flight that he went on, he knocked himself unconscious. So all of that extra rolling was just ragdolling on the ground until he reached the bottom of the mountain. And oh yeah, the doctors told me to save them time. He broke everything, everything in his body. And he's missing a couple of teeth on the top of the mountain from hitting his head against that rock. Ooh. So, full body cast? Full body cast. Right, right. Thumbs up. <laughs> and 
if you guys want to check out anybody else getting themselves maimed for unnecessary fame, you can head on over to not only the Rockstar Social Club page, only known as socialclub.rockstargames.com, but you can head on over to any of the Twitter pages that we mentioned for this week to check out a whole bunch of crazy stunners who looks to try to hit a home run at the bottom of the ninth only to end up in the hospital by the top of the first. Yeah, we're not good with baseball references. Either way, they're going to be in the hospital probably until January 1st. Yeah, see, we recovered, unlike them. <laughs> and I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back into this music, and when we return, we'll be back with yet another month-ending edition of the GTA Online Top 5 Tracks of the Month as Under the Radar continues right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks, and stay tuned. <laughs> 